weed whacker. And if you've ever had a weed whacker or one of these uh, power tools that are lacking power after using it for several years, um, I'll give you a quick tip on what to check and uh, hopefully it'll get you back on, uh, hopefully it'll get you back on track and get your weed whacker to come up in RPM and you know scream like it used to when it was brand new. So this is what I'm talking about. steel gives you this nice uh, Torx bit tool and spark plug wrench and it puts a spark plug in the, uh, all the screws on the on the machine. So you just want to remove these screws, three screws around the pull start and uh, get this orange cover off. Once you get that cover off, this is your muffler, all right, and this, this is a spark arrestor right here. That's your spark arrestor and there's a little screen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this screw and take that little screen out. You can usually sneak a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, right by that plastic, the white plastic cover on top. Take the little screw out, make some uh, even those pliers, and just slide the screen out. It's gonna be pretty gunky. So, so as you can see, there's not a whole lot of uh, light coming through that screen. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clean that off with a small wire brush and then uh, reinstall it and see how the machine runs. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this caliper brush. We use, use, the, we use these for uh, cleaning up calipers and the rust and the, the, all the brake dust and stuff. I just put it down there and I'm just gonna scrub it. You know, try to get all that gunk out of there. Pretty uh, pretty well clogged. So as you can see, it's uh, still not doing so great. It's still pretty clogged. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, let it soak in some carburetor cleaner for a little bit and see if that uh, helps loosen up that carbon that's stuck to it. Let it sit there for about 10 minutes, and then scrub it again and see how it comes out. All right, I let it sit in that carb cleaner for about a half an hour. You know, I'm just cleaning it up uh, with a wire brush a little bit more. Obviously, I've been scrubbing off camera, so this isn't, it's not a quick fix, but uh, and you could probably get one of these screens right on Amazon. But uh, I don't have time to wait for that. My machine's not uh, running good today, and I need it running today. So, Let's see how that looks. See, now you can see right through the screen. Looks good. Throw it back in, and let's see what happens. Basically, just the reverse procedure. You know, throw it back in here. Slide it in. It's not rocket science, guys. All right, so I got the screen back in, but I did have to use a uh, little angled uh, scraper for it. It's, a, it's actually a pick, and I had to use that to uh, to scrape the area where the where the um, screen slides in. There's two little slide areas. I just scraped them clean with this. Then I got it to go in, and then basically just put this back on. Let's see what happens when we fire it up. Alright, let's see what happens. Fire it up, see if we got any RPM. A little choke here. <laughs>
But that's it. Clean out that little screen, get a new machine back. All right, if you got any questions or comments, guys, leave them in the box below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. Talk to you later, have a good one. Take it easy, guys.